This is a basic standing somatic sequence to help your brain remember how to turn the tension down in your body. In these contractions, I invite you to come into them sort of slowly. Find the direction I'm explaining, and then we're going to ramp it up till it's sort of a pleasurable yawning-like effort. So standing here, just bring feet apart a little bit, and bring your awareness into your left shoulder. You're just a mirror of me, your left shoulder. Pull that shoulder back a little bit, and then think about where is your right back pocket. Can you pull left, the back of left shoulder toward right back pocket, bring up your wrist, and use those rotator cuff muscles, sort of yawn them by pulling wrist and elbow and shoulder and over to the back pop, opposite side back pocket, bring opposite side back pocket up toward wrist. And come into that, where's the place that's hard to feel the yawning sensation? Arch that, make sure the front is off, not holding the front tight. Slowly come out of that. It's back to rest, okay? We'll do that one more time. Shoulder comes back, think about the opposite back pocket, pull across, slow. It's like a yawn. Bring the neck back, just have it just feel wonderful. There you go. All the way back to nothing. Okay. Other side. Your right shoulder goes back. Thinking about the left back pocket. Pull that back pocket up and yawn the back and pull. Just make it a yawn, a diagonal twisting yawn. The X of the back. Notice how the other diagonal of the X is getting long. Let that side get long. And just going back and forth. This time we're going back to the original side and we're twisting, just twisting. Find the contraction. Find it in the contraction. Contract to fill it in. Fill in the map your brain has of your body with that enjoyable sensation. Let it know that place is real. Okay. Arms out in front, maybe a little bit down. Think about your chest and the position of thumbs. Move chest away from thumbs firmly. Where are you pushing your back back behind you? Push that place back, back behind you. Find that effort, and then slowly rest out of the effort. Maybe let a breath come in. Maybe pull those shoulders back and have that nice yawn. Oh, that. Now going into the contraction of the front again, moving chest away from thumbs, pushing the mid-back back behind you. Hunt yourself over. That's it. Even push the chin out or the nose out toward the thumbs as well. Get that chest really caved in. Long breath in. Open it up. There you go. Okay. Front and back is stress response. That's how we get stuck. The brain learns our front and back stress response tensions and then we're held in that equilibrium. Notice if you're more relaxed now. One arm up, one arm down. The arm that's down, start to reach that down toward your the, the outside of the knee. So you're reaching your right arm down toward the right side of the knee. Really find the contraction. Just notice that the, the left side's opening, not trying to stretch that side. The brain won't learn from a stretch. Close up. The right. Make that whole curve beautifully known by your brain. Close it up enough that the brain can sense it. You don't have to go as far as I'm going, or maybe you can go further. But it's not about how far you go. It says the brain know it. Reaching down. Close that stiff stuff. Close it. Close it. Close those ribs. Breath into the open side. Exhale. Come back to center. Reaching down. Bending, bend the spine, bend it. Is it stiff? Bend it. Take control. Reaching, easy. Okay. One shoulder forward, one shoulder back. The shoulder that's forward, roll that arm in. The shoulder that's back, roll that palm to face out behind you. Twist the body. Let the head twist just enough to find that pleasurable yawning, not trying to go further. Look at it from inside. Make the movement intentional. Can you go smoothly and intentionally all the way to the other side? Notice everything that's moving. Twist and roll and twist the body. Focus more on the torso, less on the neck, less on the arms. Just shine that light that's coming out of the front of your chest. Shine that over to the side. 
Let the arm just follow. Turn the arms if you want. Turn the head if you want. Shine that light all the way out of your chest. Let that love shine bright. Shine it all the way over to the other side. Come back to neutral. Just let it wiggle out. Go through your day. See how it goes after this. I encourage you to pendiculate often. I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com. Have a wonderful day. So the question is, how much practice does it take for your system, for you to keep reminding yourself what it's like to be outside stress? And I encourage you to practice often. It's the oftenness of your personal practice that helps change the course of the ship. Okay, you know what it's like to be tense. So why not practice and treat yourself to being the person that you like to be? When you feel yourself in stress, that's the time to practice. Okay, right there. What's the minimum a cat will just yawn 40 times a day or whenever it needs to? Humans, we're stubborn. We put it off. So just, just yawn and just arch the back and pull the shoulders back and go into that one. Just front and back is stress. You're in, a str you're in stress. Do that. Come out of it. That's, that's what to do. Okay. Program that as a message forward in your mind to say, I'm feeling it. This is how to get out of it. Turn the tension down in the body. Help your brain understand how to do that. 